just humbly suggest to women to take something away today. I think it's important that we do away with this mentality that we must get something because we are women. A woman must be given on the premise of competence, character, and capacity. You don't have it, you can't get it, number one. Number two, I think it's important to speak to the mothers, the women that are raising the men that we marry. You drive from Ikeja to Lekki, all the Tundras, the Range Rovers, the Prados are now driven by men, are now driven by women. HODs of organizations, women are taking the lead everywhere. Why? We're raising boys and girls. In the morning, you send the girl, tell her to wake up, take care of her younger ones, have their bath, go to the market, negotiate. She knows she learns everything. You give her 5,000 and give her a long list of what is not possible. Negotiation skills. You tell her to take care of her younger ones, leadership skills. You tell her to sit properly, etiquette. You tell her to speak to people properly, respect and responsibility. You say women don't, don't do this relationship management. All the skills that are required later in life in the workplace, women learn it. Our boys are watching football and watching cars. And then please, home economics is not the cause for only women in the school. Study engineering, study architecture, study law, go into politics. Spoon feeding doesn't do anything for anybody at the end, apart from teaching you the shape of the spoon. So even as a, even when you have a mentor, use what it is that, that is being taught to you properly. And even as I close, let me just say this to you. Can women begin to invest in real assets? Can we begin to buy landed property? Instead of trying to fill among and buy fake clothes and fake baths. Please let's begin to invest in real assets because that's the only way we can be very competitive. And finally, the greatest career choice. Listen, the greatest career choice, Sherry Sandberg. If you've ever read, if you, if you, if you, if you read Sherry Sandberg's Lean In, the greatest career choice any woman will ever make is who you marry. The greatest career choice that any, if you marry a man who does not understand that he's already leading you by removing your father's name and taking and giving you his own name, that Dora Queen will go out all day. Ngozi Yoko Joel will go out all day. Mrs. Adeno Wantia Desua, Mrs. Aziz, they will all go out all day and be in command, in, in, in control. When they come back home, they need to lean to only one man and submit to only one man. If you don't understand that, if that man doesn't know that that's the greatest power, you can't help him. I thank you very much.